welcome to the middle of nowhere. Today's video is kind of a build update, not really. It's more of a time lapse of me putting together the GPU block and active backplate for my RTX Strix OC3090 by Asus. Both the block and active backplate are by EKWB, and it was relatively easy putting everything together. I'd say the longest part was just getting all the screws off and then also cutting up all those dang thermal pads. And without blabbing on too much, here's the time lapse. Here you can see I'm doing the active backplate installation and the first thing I'm doing is actually removing screws from the back of the GPU. That's because I did the full installation of the GPU block and if it didn't have a backplate at all like the nickel backplate that you can buy separately or this active backplate then all those screws would stay in. However because I'm installing the active backplate there are a few screws that I do have to remove first. I'm not using EK thermal pads on the active back plate. Instead, I'm using Thermalrite Odyssey pads. These do a great job of transferring heat, and I wanted to make sure that the RAM modules on the back were covered and the heat was transferred nicely. I didn't use them on the GPU block itself because I didn't want to mess with the tolerances, and I wanted to make sure that the block had good contact with the GPU die, and to ensure this, I stuck with the EKWB pads. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. 
So yeah, much to my chagrin, I ended up following, without realizing it, the RTX 3080 instructions for the active backplate. I printed out the instructions and just stapled everything together. What I should have done is reviewed the instructions because I forgot they do take into account for both 3080 and 3090 cards and ripped out the 3080 instructions. Unfortunately, I ended up wasting a whole bunch of expensive thermal pads here. And you can see how the 3080-3080 Ti version of instructions shows that uh, layering thermal pads is required, making it much more complex and you end up using a lot more thermal pads whereas a 3090 you don't have to worry about that so yeah but at least in the end i did get it done Here you can see I'm struggling pretty mightily with the terminal for the active backplate and GPU. I tried unscrewing some screws, I tried rescrewing it back in, and in the end it really just came down to sandwiching that to the two objects together with your hands to get that clamping force so that you could get the screws lined up and in, and after that it was just no problem. That's it for this video, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw, if you found even this time lapse and some of my explanations helpful. Feel free to stick around and watch any of the other videos that I've made. Be sure to share and subscribe. I'm Seth, and I'll see you next time in the middle of nowhere.